know you didn't fight in, uh, it's been 2008 since your last MMA fight, and you won that one. And uh, I, I know it's been five years, but is there any chance of you coming back into the cage? I don't think so, man. It's the, the camp that's really hard. It's not the fight. <laughs> the camp is fucking so brutal. The fucking training, the six weeks or eight weeks that you do to get ready for the fight is insane, bro. It's worse than anything you could ever imagine. Um, the like it was under Strike Force, right? That was Strike Force your last fight. Yeah, I was doing Strike Force and I was doing King of the Cage. And after I won that last fight, I made a mistake. I should have kept going, but fuck. I was like 46, bro. What do you want me to fucking do? You know? Um, I think it was good enough. I thought I. Uh, I thought I went as far as I was going to go. I, At that point, if I was smarter I, and it was back then, I should have kept going. Um, can, can you tell us about any of the uh, shady politics in MMA? Like, was, I don't know. I, I don't want you to, to mention anything about Strike Force, whatever. But uh, I mean, Those but, guys are padding their, their dossier. Like, you know, they're getting fed a bunch of tomato cans. And they're like, will you fight this guy? And I'm like, Bro, I don't give a fuck who I fight. Put the fucking motherfucker out there. I don't give a shit. And a lot of guys, they're like, no, I won't fight him. I'll fight him. Because they know that they're going to get a good result. Um, it's becoming like a, how can I say, uh, a pageant. It's like, oh, I've got so many wins, you know, versus losses. But, you know, if you're just killing cans, you're going to end up, hitting a lion and the lion's going to know the difference, you know? Okay. Now, I, I, this is another question. Maybe just follow up on the MMA. Maybe you can't answer it, but um, is the money really as bad? I mean, like, even back then you were a name. You know what I mean? So. No, it was good when I was when I was doing okay. it. It started out like shit and it got good. I was getting five and five. You know what I'm saying? Five to nice. show, five thousand. Five thousand to win. Nice. And, um, all of a sudden, after all of us in that time uh, built it up to that point, there was a huge influx of inferior fighters that would bleed for almost free. And all of a sudden, it went back down to like, okay, you get 500 to show, 500 to fight. You know, yeah. and so a lot of the good fighters were like, well, I'm not going to fight for that much money. Um, I think that the influx of inferior fighters has uh, definitely dropped the price of our blood, and uh, so you got inferior fighters, but you get what the masses want, right? They want blood, wine, <laughs> and bread. You know <laughs> It's a very old thing, and that's what they're getting. Yeah. 